So basically our proposal for Zimpost has three apps that can handle the services that are proposed to be saved by Zimpost. These three apps is the Post Admin, the Postman and the Zimpost app. The Zimpost app is going to be the public app which is available for everyone else. And the Postman app is going to be used by the Postman who pick up parcels and then deliver. And then the Post Admin is the one that is used by a post office branch. And let's deep dive in and see their features. I'll start up with the Zimpost app. When you open the Zimpost app, it loads up, connects to server, then it looks up for your location. Then the looking for your location is for it to pick up the services that are closer to you. So here it picks up current location if it's say number 17 just hatch namano that will be the address. Then there are the services that are offered by Zimpost and uh, the postal services. So these services include things like insurance, the, the product that they sell and the postal services require is the mail. So on the app, if I'm logged in, I'll see this. If I'm not, I'll see this. So let me just go ahead and log in. So on login, you can log in using Facebook, you can log in using Google. If you have an iPhone, you can also log in using Apple. Apple ID. So this is the client app. So I'm going to So now it's logging in and tada it reassures my location now since I'm logged in it's ready for business. Mm. Trying to get my location. Okay, let me skip. All right, fine. So it has picked my exact location. So now that I'm logged in, the first thing that I see on top of the page is the wallet. The wallet, this is a service that is already offered by post office. It's called Post Money or Zip Cash. There are many names for it because it was like, I don't know what made it to have many names. Zip Cash or Post Money, but I prefer to use Post Money. So on Post Money, you can send and receive money and then top up. So top up can be done like at the post office. This can be enabled or disabled. You can top up from the post office or you can top up from your bank. This is pretty clear. Then when you go on orders, these are like the orders, the insurance that I've purchased from post office and the packages that I've shipped. Let me open one and see. So here, if I had shipped a package from Zim, uh, to ZimPost, maybe from here in Victoria Falls to my friend in Blowayo, I load a package, uh, a pickup, I request a pickup. Then Zimpost comes to pick up and route. They come ready to end route. They come to pick up the parcel from my place. Then en route to deliver. They take it from my place and then they deliver it to the address that is given. Then in requesting that I have I have to input the contact details of the person they are picking from and the contact details of the person that they are sending to. And these are the dimensions of the parcel that I'm sending. And aside from that, we can chat with the Zimpost branch of mine that is doing the job. So if I send a message here, they also get a message in Zimpost. So that's one. Then here I can search any product from Zimpost. And here is uh, like my dashboard. Mm, the main feature here is the wallet, which is post money. It has everything. So if I want to send money, say to someone who's on Zimpost, I just go send money. Then I want to send a thousand dollars. Then I put the number of the person. Uh, two six three seven seven four eight eight four eight two four. So it already it, it has already synced with my contact and the database for Zimpost to find. So this is the person that I want to send money to. His profile picture comes out and. Now I just have to put my password to send the money. And tada, a transfer has been made from my account to this person. My balance is already reduced. So that's one of the key features. So here we have post money and we have password delivery and we have the e-commerce part with Impost Health Services. This is many other features like here you see there are no vendors, though it is wise to launch without vendors. This can actually be an e-commerce app for Zimpost where we sign up sellers to sell within Zimpost. When they make a sale, 
they assign Zimpos to go and pick up the delivery and deliver it to the person who is buying from them if it's a shop. Then also the good thing is if we are using post money here, that means Kuti, if someone buys something using the e-commerce platform that is on the Zimpost app, uh, his money is handled securely by Zimpost since the person, the buyer is buying is in post money, which is managed by Zimpost, and post money has to be transferred to the seller's account. So if the buyer cancels an order or gets untreated fairly, Zimpost has the power to like cancel an order and instantly refund the person. That brings in buyer security if Zimpost is to jump into e commerce. But I'm going to stick to posting and stuff. So the other thing is tracking packages, which I've shown earlier. You can track a package from here. And this is what I've shown earlier. And you can also request a new order and also request a new order. Here it searches uh, the document type that you want to send. Is it a document? Is it a parcel? How big is it? Then you enter the next. Then pick up location. Uh, if it's uh, say a place in Gweru to another place in, in Gweru. Let me try with the, the, my address. And my other address. The next. Then it has to select different post offices that are close by. If I'm in Machipi, so this has to show the post office in Machipi. So then I select it and then send a parcel. The second half of the app has uh, the admin site, which is the post office. If a new order comes in, how do they handle it? So say for instance, a new order comes in here. There are all orders, pending orders, scheduled orders, preparing and route, failed, cancelled and delivered orders. So they can just go here. Mm, like on all orders if they have to set pricing like to pick up the parcel and do a standard pricing they can go here how many days the parcel type the trip we can da. is it an express is it an email is it a standard is it a city express say for instance someone is selling something from kitchen cuisine and it has to be delivered in hurry that day it's possible so we can also edit as a service maximum of days you can book a parcel that you need to be collected in six days best price say for instance we're charging three dollars and then package price how much we're charging how you're charging per kg per kilometer and everything then this is the post office daily sales report how much are they earning the address how many orders do they process today they can open or close the post office just by clicking here and the post office is closed and they can open it so this can also be set to automatically turn on at 12 it's 8 a.m then shut down at uh, 5 p.m when they close then yeah so and back to orders and they can receive an order when they receive an order this will be the order that they receive and if they want to print shipping labels they just go on print and this generates a uh, this print prints a shipping label that is the pickup location and the drop-off location with this uh, contact point. We can call the customer who has done this order and communicate with them. What kind of message are they using to pay? And then we can also change things like the status of the order. Is it on route? Is it ready? Has it been collected? Has it failed? Has it been delivered? You can also change all those things. Like that. Now I've updated this to delivered. So this will be what they'll be using at every simple to receive orders of shipping parcels, be it something that has been bought through e-commerce or something that has been bought through whichever method that has been bought through. So that's the second part in a nutshell. The third and final part, since Zimpost is a Paris data, uh, using a lot of funds might not be a, a good idea and we have a way of having people sign up to deliver for Zimpost. All those people that are already delivering in, in Harare can sign up and deliver for Zimpost and Zimpost becomes sort of a pseudo sorting center. And now this is the app that they can use. Uh, say I've got my own motorbike and I want to deliver. I can just go here, create a Zimpost app. If my local Zimpost, if I stay in Machipisa, I can be assigned orders by my local Zimpost, accept or decline those orders, those orders, and then go. 
and within their portal they said how much they pay me per order if it's a dollar per order they said that if it's yeah so say for instance i'm in machipisa as imposed receives an order in machipisa they assign me i go collect the order and submit it as impost that's a dollar to myself as a payment and all this money is handled by again post money and i can literally call this an employment that has been created by Zimpost and where in this case Zimpost doesn't have to have a headache of paying these people because they're actually being paid for what they work for same way things like Uber Eats do in South Africa so this opens up a door for Zimpost to just verify people and work with them so as a driver for me to receive orders I have to go online and if I go online then I'll be here online like i'm online now if an order is assigned to me it just comes here then i accept or decline and then do the order just like an uber driver that's uh that's it about the site so now that i'm logged in as a driver if i slide down there you will see i wait a new order this is a new order that's coming in that's that's me as a driver, I'm waiting a new order. Even if I am to go to my WhatsApp and do whatever business that I'm doing here, I'll just click here and then go back to accept orders and stuff. So that's how easy it is.